Today I'm doing a collection tour video, but not of my whole collection, just of my art books and other extras. Last month in February, I did a full collection tour of all of my manga. So in addition to art books, I also have quite a few art booklets, special booklets, guidebooks, memorial books, magazines. So on my shelves here at the bottom are most of my just random extras, but then I also have them kind of sprinkled through the shelves. So I have my Attack on Titan extras over here, some of my sport ones over here, and then just other little booklets that I have with their series if they fit and looked okay. So I'm gonna go through right now and just pull all of them down off of the shelves and bring them down to where the rest of the art books are and go through them. Okay, so I got all of my art books and extras, booklets, guidebooks, fan books off the shelves and in a pile here. So I'm gonna go through them now. I will try to give like a little flip through of each one, but it won't be a thorough flip through because it would take forever. But I also have a playlist on my channel of art book flip throughs, so. I do have quite a few that I've uploaded already, so you can go check those out if you want a more thorough and slow flip through. And I am planning on doing more because I have a lot of art books that I'd like to share with everyone. But I think I'm just gonna go by series so that I can have timestamps. Then that way you can kind of just click through to whatever series you wanna see the extras for. And then I'm also gonna try to Maybe start with shoujo and then jose and then seinen and shonen, just so that it's easier to navigate if you want to kind of look for something specific. But before I get started, this is everything.
Okay, so first I'll start with Fruits Basket. So I have the three illustration books and the anime art book. So this is all art from the anime. And then it's also kind of like a little guidebook because it has the character pages. And then the illustration books are for the three seasons of the anime. So season one, season two, and the final season. And these are also kind of like art books, but then also like guidebooks because they're organized by episode. Like what happens in each of those episodes. And then it will have some of the art from the anime and then also some art that is not in the style of the anime. This is when I do have a full flip through of all three of these books. So check out the playlist for that. Next I have Kimini Tadoke. So I have the fan book, the guide book, the special booklet that came with the volume 30 special edition works and tribute and the illustration book. So works and tribute. So this was actually two separate booklets that they then combined into one booklet for the special edition release. It's pretty small, but it's bound, so it feels pretty nice. Then the fan book. has some colored pages, character profiles, and then a lot of Japanese text. But I love little extras like this, as you can tell. And then the guidebook. And I did get these ones. I don't remember if I got them from Amazon Japan or Mercari Japan but with one of my buy orders, so. And it was pretty recently, so they're still out there. And then when I have books that I put on display, I usually tuck the OB in the top so that it won't be covering over the cover. That's why some of these are gonna have these just tucked in. This is the TV anime guidebook for Kimini Tadoke. So it has some images from the anime, little character profiles, some interviews, and again, a lot of Japanese text. And then the art book or the illustration book. And this one too, I have a full flip through on my channel. But it's just gorgeous, beautiful color illustrations. The covers of the manga volumes. I love this. These are the little flowers that are on all the spines of the volumes. Then character pages. 
really happy I was able to get this one. This is one that I had to look for for a little while because there were not a lot of listings. Okay, next I have the special booklet that came with the special edition of volume seven of A Sign of Affection. This is another thin booklet but it is bound, not just stapled. And it does feel like good quality too. So some color pages, some other little drawings, and then there is a a bonus chapter. This is pretty cool. So some of the booklets that I have, they are just pretty small, like there isn't a ton, but there's special little extra things that you won't be able to see if you just only buy the volumes. So for series I like, and any series that I collect, I try to get any extras that I can for those series. Okay, next is A Condition Called Love. I have two booklets. So one is a fan book and one is a special illustration book. I can't remember offhand, but one of these came with the special edition of volume seven and the other came with a special edition of volume 10 of A Condition Called Love. So I'll flip through the illustration book first. Oh, I love this series. So they're like going on a little trip. Again, just color illustrations, lovely. And then a bonus chapter, two bonus chapters. And it looks like these were maybe advertisements or something, I'm not sure. The special illustration book and then the fan book. They're so cute. So I love how the front and back are just their faces making the cutest little expressions. Some character pages. Some sketches. Some storyboards and a little a little bonus chapter. And again, these two are also bound. I like to share that little detail because when they're bound and not just stapled, I feel like it makes them extra, extra special. Like they're a little mini book and not just, not just printed and folded and stapled. <laughs> okay. And next I have lovely complex. So I have the fan book and the illustration book.
And so very typical for fan books, there will be color pages in the front. And then it'll switch to the black and white manga paper. I really wish that more of these fan books would be translated into English because I love this extra bonus content. And I would really love to be able to read it without taking forever with a translator to take forever to translate one page. Little bonus chapter. And then the illustration book. And this is a series that a lot of the volumes are currently out of stock, so I don't own the manga in my collection. So I just have these two books kind of to hold a little spot in my collection for Lovely Complex. Next I have Snow White with the red hair. So I have the fan book and then the illustration booklet that came with the special edition of volume 18. And this was such a nice surprise. This is hardcover. So just a really nice even though it's a booklet, just, uh, it's so nice. This one is predominantly color illustrations and then a few just little black and white. Ah, gorgeous. illustration booklet and then the fan book again starting out with some color pages so some of these were in the illustration booklet as well. Then it switches to manga paper. I love how they'll have the character maps that show everyone's relationships with each other. Character pages. So much text though, I just, uh, I just really wish we could get these in English. Just all this little bonus content. But even though I can't read Japanese and I don't have the time to read every single page of Japanese text, I do really often flip through 
my fan books and just really enjoy the extra little the extra little things, extra little drawings. But with this one, I really love the clothing in this series, so I love the sections in the fan book that really go into the clothing designs. And a little bonus chapter. And I think that one of the sections in here was interviews too. So Snow White with the red hair. Okay, next. Yona of the Dawn. So I have all of these. Then I also have the September 2018 issue of Hana Toyume with this cover of Hawk and Yona. So I only just started I only just started collecting magazines and I'm not going to start collecting a lot just this one was a gift and this is a series that I do really like a lot. And then I recently started collecting magazines for Love of Kill. But other than those two, I don't see myself being a big magazine collector unless it's going to be an issue that has a cover illustration that I really like, or if it's going to be a magazine issue that has some kind of special release with it. Like this one has a Yona of the Dawn drama CD. And there have been some recently that I've picked up that came with art booklets. And the only way to get them is with the purchase of the magazine. So I have this one for Yona of the Dawn, this issue of Hanato Yume. And then I have the fan book. There's the big map. Coca Kingdom. Again, as usual, character pages. And a character map. The different strengths and weaknesses of some of the different characters. Again, I just sound like a broken record, but ugh, I just wish we had this translated in English. I know that the German publisher of Yona of the Dawn did translate the fan book into German, so it's so nice that they have that. And then this one has a few little bonus chapters in the back as well. And this is a bigger one too, so I'm happy that it's like the size of a Kadansha volume. So I have this one. Then I have two illustration books and three booklets. So this first booklet is one that is really thin and it's just a stapled one. And these were all inclusions with special edition volumes and 
Actually, this one might have been released with a magazine issue. But a lot of these you have to search for them used on sites like Mercari Japan or Yahoo Japan to find a copy. So this one. And this little panel right here is like the funniest thing in the whole series of Yona of the Dawn. So if you've never seen this before and you want to know, send me a message on Instagram. <laughs> and we have this booklet. And I love all the alternate universe illustrations for you and of the dawn because it takes place in a fantasy historical setting so to see them like dressed like this is so precious They're little chibi versions. So again, like these are just sketches. But how cool to, to have these because again, this is something you'd be missing out on if you weren't trying to collect all the little extras. So then these two are both a little thicker than the previous booklet. And this one even has the writing on the spine. Some of them are so thin that they don't have anything written on the spine. So it, I find it kind of funny when they do because they're so thin, but then it's like its own little its own little identity when it's on the shelf and it has the title. But tea time. And then a bonus chapter. In an alternate universe where they're at a cafe, Some baseball. There is no baseball in Yuna of the Dawn. <laughs> so this is an art book and it's not just only Yuna of the Dawn, it's for the debut anniversary of the mangaka. But it is predominantly Yona of the Dawn with a few pages of illustrations from their other works. And this one is also thin and folded and stapled, but but it is a larger size as well. Again, it's like the similar to a Kadansha volume. Little Sheen, aw. Sorry. Just really love these. 
And then lastly, the illustration book, and this one is larger. It's bound and it has a dust jacket. Oops. I forgot I tucked a print inside. And I love the inside of the dust jacket. I know I said I wasn't gonna thoroughly flip through everything, but I just wanna share these ones because they have such nice color illustrations. my Yoda of the Dawn extras and then I have four more shoujo extras to share from the shelf. Okay so the next one is the illustration book for My Little Monster and this one is really nice. This is a a dust jacket on a hardcover book. And I just really like this art book. It, the illustrations are so pretty. Unfortunately, I bought this used and it must have been from a household with smokers because it smelled really bad of smoke when I got it and I had to take like two months just airing it out and just flipping through it every day. I thought I was going to have to just resell it and find a new copy, but fortunately I was able to get most of the smoke smell out of it so I'm really happy just because I love how colorful it is and the fun illustrations and I do really like this series a lot. So my little monster illustration book. Next I have the illustration book for Sand Chronicles. And this is another one that the volumes are out of stock and pretty expensive to buy secondhand. So for now, at least, instead of having the manga in my collection, I have the art book or the illustration book. And this one is a book that has a dust jacket. 
the little poster of the illustration on the cover. Winter illustration inside. So this one too, I was really happy that I was able to find this illustration book secondhand and it was in good condition and holding a place in my collection for Santa Chronicles. Next I have two Mika Yamamori illustration booklets. So the first one is for Daytime Shooting Star. And these were both inclusions with magazine issues. And I did get them secondhand just from Mercari Japan because those issues are no longer being sold new. But so Daytime Shooting Star Memorial Illustration Book. And they're both copies that are just stapled. They're pretty thin. But this one, the cover is like a thinner paper, like the pages, whereas this one is like a thicker, a thicker cover, slightly thicker. And then Spocky Show Lonely Planet. Illustration book. And again, I'm just really happy I was able to find these because they are a little older. So I had to really search for the listings and also had to wait a little bit until I could find one that was at a reasonable price because They were asking a lot for these. But I was able to find them and they were both in good condition, so I am happy. Subaki Cho Lonely Planet. So that is all for my shoujo art books and extras. So now I'm gonna go into some of my Jose series. So before I get into the booklets and books for the Jose manga series that I like, I do have two items that are not for a specific series, but it is an art book and a art book guidebook from a mangaka who does Jose series. So this one here is Invincible Men's Fashion 
and then Salaryman illustration book. And these are by the mangaka Matu. I really love her art style. She has several series that follow office workers. So I just really love her men in suits and just her character designs for men. But this one does have a lot of text, but it is like a guidebook for men's fashion. And a friend of mine actually bought it before I did and sent me a flip through of it because we were both just kind of unsure about what it would contain, how many illustrations there would be, if it would be predominantly text. So she took the risk and And got it and previewed it for me and then I picked it up as well. But we both thought we'd like it because I had gotten the Salaryman illustration book. And again, just Matu does the best guys. I still have not gone through and translated any of this. Just occasionally have been flipping through, enjoying the different styles. And there are some, some women in here as well. This is the men's fashion illustration book guide. And then the salary man illustration book. And this one I have a full flip through on my playlist as well. So I'll just do a little quickie one. And if it looks good to you, you can Check out that other flip through video where I go page by page through it. But just lots of different salary men, men in suits. Very nice. <laughs> I was really happy that I found out about this one and, and I was able to get a good copy of it. I got this maybe like six months ago and it was still being sold new on Amazon Japan. So this one as well. So they're out there. Next I have a special illustration book for Something's Wrong With Us. And this was released with the volume 16 special edition. And it's pretty thin, but it's a nice copy. It's bound and it has a little title on the side of it. It's full color. Love these illustrations of Noun Subaki. And then just a page of Wagashi. So some of these have art from the covers of the manga. Then there are some other ones as well. 
some other illustrations. Then a little, a little bonus chapter at the end. I love this series and really happy that I had found out about this booklet so that I could get a hold of it. Next, I have this illustration booklet for Life Lessons with Urmichi Onisan. And it's another skinny one, and it's one that's stapled. And it's pretty big too. It's about the size of a Kadansha volume. But this one was also one that was released with a special edition volume. I don't remember which volume number. I think it was maybe volume six, but it's just a little illustration booklet. I really like this series. I love the comedy in it. Then there's a little bonus chapter at the end. So just a little one, but like I keep saying over and over, whenever there's a series that I like, when I go to collect it physically, I'll usually go on a little hunt for any little extras that came out with this series, like little booklets like these. And then I have Otakoi Love is Hard for Otaku. And I have the art book, the comic anthology, the TV anime guidebook, and the light novel. And I'm not really a light novel reader or collector, so this is the only one I have in my whole collection, and that's why I'm just counting it as an extra instead of having a separate light novels category of my collection. But I did get this light novel just for the sake of being a completionist and having it in my collection because Wotakoi is my favorite series, but also so that I could have the art from the cover. Even though it's a novel, it does have some illustrations that can only be found in inside. So yes, it's a light novel in Japanese, <laughs> but... This little poster. I'm probably skipping some too as I go, but just giving a little preview of what the light novel is like. Because I'm not a big light novel reader, I don't usually have requests for light novels to be translated to English, like in the monthly surveys, but this is one that I request every month because if if it got translated and printed in English, I would definitely get it and read it.
Yeah, so the Botokoi light novel. It says the novel. It's the novel, light novel, I don't know. So this. And the TV anime guidebook. This is one I do have on my channel already, a full flip through of it. So I'll just do a little quickie flip through. That's the big interview section with a lot of text, a little bonus chapter. But I just love little extra things like this, and it's my favorite series, so. Had to get it. And then I have the comic anthology. So just a collection of different chapters. I don't know if, let me check on the table of contents. If this is all done by a different mangaka or if it's a collection of several different mangakas each doing a chapter, but probably says here <laughs> and I just can't read it, but. Again, just the completionist in me wanting to have everything from Multikoi. And then the art book. And this is the Japanese one. There is an English one that's going to be released this year. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to get it in English as well or get it in English to replace this one because this is predominantly illustrations. There isn't a lot of text in it, so I think I'd be okay just having it in Japanese. I'm just gonna take this dust jacket off. It's really nice, but it's like really slippery. So I always have to take it off when I go through this. So, these are some of the illustrations from the covers. And this is one too. And this is one too that I've done a full flip through of, so you can feel free to find that video on my flip through playlist. If you want a slower, more thorough flip through video of it. Bonus chapter. So I don't know, there's a bonus chapter with Japanese text. There's a little interview at the back and then in the middle I'm sure this will get translated as well. Just a couple pages with some text. So, official artworks. Otakoi. And then my last JSA series that I have extras for are Love of Kill. I have two art books, some guidebooks, an extra booklet, and 
Several magazines that I got most of these in a recent haul from Japan. So I really, really love this series and it has in the series my favorite manga anime character, Ring Ha. So I recently bought my first issue of Love of Kill, which was this one, February, 2023, because there was an art booklet that was released with this issue. And when I was getting this magazine, I just decided I'm gonna search and see if I can just get all the Comic Jane issues that came with Love of Kill illustrations on the covers. So I got this one, February, 2023. And I'm really happy all of the spines look really nice too with a portion of the cover illustration. January 2022. May 2019. April 2020. August 2021 and January 2021. So I'm really happy I was able to get a hold of all of these and they're all in really good condition too, even though most of them were secondhand. But with these six issues, I am still missing two, so I am just on the lookout for those ones still. But in addition to those magazines, I have this special booklet, Black Cat. So we have Chateau and Ring Ha. And this is just a big bonus chapter story. So I don't want to flip through it too slowly and show any spoilers, but I actually didn't know about this one until I was just randomly browsing on Mercari Japan and I kept seeing it. So I did some research and found out it was an extra booklet and it is one that is stapled. Just a little one. And then I have four special booklets. These are each booklets that came with the DVD and Blu-ray box sets. There were four box sets, so each box set came with a little TV anime guidebook. And so the nice thing, because there wasn't a separate release of just a TV anime guidebook for the anime for Love of Kill, so I was really excited to get these. But one of the nice things about these, so they each have little, a couple little pages for, for three episodes, and then a couple character profiles, cast interview, artboard, and then each one has a little couple page bonus chapter at the end. And the bonus chapters are unique, so they're not in the manga. So I'm really happy that I got these so I could get that little bit of extra story in them. So then the second one. Third one and the fourth one.
And then lastly, I have the two art books. So this is the art collection and it's like a thick book with a dust jacket and then art collection plus, which is a booklet that is stapled, but it's like really good paper and it feels really sturdy despite being just a stapled booklet. So the art collection, art book. I do have a full flip through video of this one. So I'll just do a quick flip through. Lots of really gorgeous color illustrations. interviews at the end but this is my favorite art book of all of my art books I'm super happy I was able to get it I think that now it's harder to get copies of this new so I have still been seeing listings for the love of kill art collection secondhand on Mercari Japan so I know that they're out there And then this is the recent Art Collection Plus that was released with the February 2023 issue of Comic Jane. And I do have a reel on my Instagram where I kind of flip through this. So again, Lots of really gorgeous color illustrations. This currently is my favorite color illustration for Love of Kill of Rang Ha. Chateau, the coloring is just gorgeous. I love his outfit. Little chibis. But super happy to have these. I do have this as a print on my shelf and it's just a little tiny print, but now I have it as a two page spread. But I was thrilled when they announced that they were releasing a second art book. So really happy that they released this and that I have it. So that is all for Love of Kill. Okay, next I have extras for two Seinen series. So first I have this special booklet that came with the volume two special edition of Yakuza Fiance, Raisei Watanen Ga I. And it is pretty skinny, but it is bound. It has a little racy page that I tried to skip. <laughs> But a lot of just little illustrations with text, Japanese text, but this is pretty funny. <laughs> and then a little mini bonus chapter. So again, this one's pretty small, but I just have to get extras of series that I like. If I know about them, I just have to get them. So I'm glad I got this one. And I do like this <laughs> illustration on the front. I know that this illustration is being sold as prints and acrylic plates. So I have it in book form. 
And then the other Sane and series that I have extras for is my Dress Up Darling. So I have the TV anime guidebook and the illustration book. So the illustration book is a booklet and it was released with the special edition of volume eight. And it's actually really nice. It has a dust jacket and is bound. But it's mostly illustrations of Marin, kind of with her different cosplays, but then all of them with her as a maid. <laughs> So a little racy, kind of fan servicey, but I love Martin. She's such a sweetheart. And I love this series too. Despite the fan service, it's a very wholesome series. Gojo. So it's a pretty small booklet, but it just has some unique illustrations and I wanted to have it, so. And then the TV anime guidebook. So when I ordered this, I thought it was going to be pretty small, like not thin, but I thought it was going to be maybe this big. But it's huge. It's as big as the Wotakoi art book. But it starts out going through with some illustrations, but then it kind of goes through by episode. Some character pages and character designs, some interviews, and then now it's by episode, some of the images from the anime. More interviews at the, at the end. Yeah, so it's not like super thick, but it's pretty nice. So I'm happy to have this one. I don't remember if I showed the back. So only two series, but these are my seinen <laughs> extras. Okay, next I'm gonna go through all my shonen art books and extras. Okay, so for this series, Kono Oto Tamari, I have three items. So this right here is the March 2023 issue of Jump Square. So this issue did have a cover featuring Kono Oto Tamari. But then the reason that I got this, because I'm not collecting all the covers of this series, the reason I got it is because it had an art booklet that was released with it. So I was thrilled that they were releasing an art booklet because I, I love this series. It's my second favorite series behind Wotakoi. But then this manga just does beautiful drawings and all of her color illustrations are beautiful. But so this one is just folded and stapled, but then just like with the Love of Kill booklet, it feels pretty nice. The paper is, is good and thick. 
but really happy. It's kind of a mix of illustrations. There are some illustrations, like this one has been released as a clear file. This is an illustration that is inside one of the volumes. This is a cover, <laughs> so. I'm not really sure where all of the illustrations are from. It probably says in the captions CD, so this might be an illustration from the soundtrack. This one as well says CD. This is one of my favorite illustrations in the whole manga. And this is my favorite cover, volume 26. So I really love this series. It's all about this instrument here, the Koto, and a bunch of very different high school kids who are playing this instrument together. And some of them already have experience. Some are brand new to it. So it's just a very wholesome and sweet and heartwarming series and I love it. And then this last item is actually the score for Kona Oto Tamare for some of the music that that they play. In the manga series but then also in the anime they actually have music that was written for this series so I was really happy to get it because I love this illustration on the cover. But then I wanted to have the novelty of having sheet music for the Koto. But the first half is the Koto sheet music. And then the second half is just transcribed for other instruments. So just very cool. I am not musical at all. So this is just for me to enjoy, but my husband is a musician. So I still am trying to get him to learn part of, <laughs> part of this for me. So really happy to have these in my collection. Next. I have several extras from the series Tokyo Revengers, and I'm only gonna flip through one of them because I do actually have flip through videos for all of these except for one. So these two are the TV anime guidebooks. So they're the same, the same guidebook for season one of the anime, but it's two different versions. So one is a regular edition and one is the definitive edition, so. Happy to have these in my collection. And then these four are all character books. So the first one the second one the third And these all have their own flip through videos. So if you wanna see them in detail, they're in my flip through playlist. And then this fourth character book, I am planning to do a flip through video of it soon because it is a pretty new release. I, I believe it came out in January this year, but I'll just do a little, a little quick flip through of it. So some color pages. I'm a big fan of Tokyo Revengers, so any extra that they release, I'm gonna buy, so. <laughs> As usual, character pages. A little extra information about the characters and little extra pages and illustrations. So 
some of the kids' bedroom layouts. And then the best three and worst three for different categories. Just little fun kind of extra things. And a few more color pages, so. Really happy that they released all these character books that cover different portions of of the story and different arcs, so. Tokyo Adventures. Next I have the character book for Blue Lock and Really happy to have this one. Just like with Tokyo Avengers, it starts with color pages and then has the character pages. But I really like sports series, so. Wanted to get this. I'm actually not collecting the series physically. So this is holding the place in my collection for Blue Lock, so. So just for some of the some of the main characters, got some little extra color pages. It's a lot of text, but then here at the end, some storyboards or some sketches. I'm not really sure. Kind of seems like, yeah, some character designs. But I just find stuff like this really interesting and fun to just kind of flip through, so. Blue lock. Next, I have the art book, Bright Colors for Kuroko's Basketball. It's really nice. I just wish that, and it's mo mostly color, just black and white toward the end of the, toward the end of the book. But I really wish that this had been released in a bigger size because it's pretty small for having such like nice color illustrations, but this is one that I do have a full flip through video of, so I'm just gonna do a quick flip through of it. But again, I really like sports series. This is a sports series about basketball. This purple hair guy is my favorite character. <laughs> Lots of really nice illustrations. I really like this little art book. I just wish it was bigger. And after the color pages, there's some character, kind of character pages, and then some sketches, a little cha extra chapter. 
And then a couple sticker pages. I don't have the nerve though to actually use any of these though. So they're just part of the book for me. <laughs> But Croco's basketball, bright colors. Next, I have two items from Monthly Girls Nozaki Kun. So one is a comic anthology, and then the other is a fan book. So. The anthology, just do a little quick flip through. So because it's an anthology, I believe it's a... Oh, and some color pages at the front. So it's a collection of little chapters from other creators, so I find that very interesting, and I wanted to have it. And then the fan book. I do own this series and I haven't read it yet, but I absolutely love the anime. I find it just hilarious. Oops. So I just preemptively Bought these extras without having read the the manga yet because I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna really like it. But again, it's just, ugh, I wish that the English publishers would pick up some of these fan books for the series that they're publishing and translate them for us because I love to have stuff like this, but then it's just so frustrating like with all this text that it would take me a really long time to go through and translate and read all of this, but I love all the little bonus content and the little extra illustrations we get. So, Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. And then I have a few things for Horimiya. I have the illustration book, the fan book, the memorial book, and then this is the memorial plus 25. That came with the volume 16 special edition. And when I got it, I was surprised it was thicker than I thought it would be. But I was glad I was able to get a hold of this. I do really like this series. It's been a while since I've read it, so I am gonna be rereading it soon. So that it can all be fresh in my mind with the volume 16 release this summer. But I love the character designs, the art style. So I'm glad that 
they release these extra books. So actually these three, I do have full flip through videos for them. So I'm just gonna do a really quick flip through right now. But the Memorial book, it's kind of exciting. They just recently announced that it's gonna be released in English. And I really wish that they had done the fan book as well or the fan book instead because the fan book has a ton of text in it. Whereas this has more text like on illustrations, but it's a step in the right direction. So I'm just really glad that they are doing that. But so this is a memorial book just like this one. So they have kind of similar style of things in it. And again, this is, I have a video of just this book flipping through it slowly. So feel free to go check that one out if you wanna see it more thoroughly, some storyboards. But yeah, so this one is gonna be getting an English release this summer. Then the fan book. color pages and then character profiles see all this all this Japanese text I just really wish that character designs I just really wish that we could get this these fan books translated so that we can so that we could be able to Get all this extra content. Oh yeah, and the fan book has some color illustrations in the back. Some of these are also in the illustration book, so. And then these two are a little smaller than the English volumes, and then this is a little bigger than the English volumes, so a variety of size but I'm glad that this one is big because it has some nice illustrations in it. So we're able to see them more clearly on the bigger pages. I really love this art book. little bonus chapter at the end. But yeah, so the illustration book and the, these two I have flipped through videos of. So if you want to see them in more detail, go to that playlist and you can watch those there. Next, I have two art books from the series Sword Art Online. So the ABEC Artworks and ABEC Artworks Wonders. So I only own one manga series from Sword Art Online, Phantom Bullet, but I really like this anime as well, so I'm really happy to have these illustrations. We also have Kirito and Asuna's dendroids. different kitty toes <laughs> but these are the big size books too the size of the Wotakoi and my dress up darling books but love to have all of these illustrations together in one place I 
I believe there's a third ABEC Artworks illustration book coming out. I'm not sure when, I'll have to look into it. But just a little quickie flip through of these ones. And then these are the back covers. And then the next series is Haikyuu. And I did just do flip through videos of both of these. So those are in my flip through playlist. So I'll just do a very, very quickie flip through. So this bigger Haikyuu illustration book is another one that is getting an English release this year. As you can see, there is not a lot of text. It's mostly illustrations. But at the back, there are some pages with more text. There is a bonus chapter. And so some of this will be translated into, into English. But I'm not sure, I might just be content with having this copy in Japanese. I'm really not sure, like I feel like this is part of the art having these in Japanese and then also, let me try to find one, but like the banners for their school will have like little mottos on them. And I feel like it will be terrible if they just put that in English over top of it, but maybe for the ones that are part of the illustrations, they'll just put like a little caption or something with the English translation. But that's definitely something that would be holding me back from or like even their names on their jerseys or their school names. Like here, their banner, and this one over here. So I'm really curious to see how they're gonna do that. Yeah, this one too, like all the banners, are they really gonna just translate them? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I don't know. But this is a big, thick book, so. Definitely recommend this. If you don't have it already in Japanese, definitely consider getting it with the English release of the art book. And then this is the 10th Anniversary Chronicle where it has a lot of text, a lot of small illustrations, but some more illustrations here. But this was a must for me when I found out about it. It was originally released with as a pack with a bunch of acrylic standees and little cards and a couple pins and it was pretty expensive. So I was thinking I was gonna miss out on it, but then I found out the book was being sold separately, officially, but then also secondhand sellers were selling just the book on its own or bonus chapters. So I was really glad I was able to get a hold of it. I don't know if this one will ever get translated into English, but if it did, that would be fantastic because of just how much text there is. Like I love just having these extra things, but then it's frustrating because I can't read it without just like holding my phone and having it <laughs> translate little sections at a time. But so both of these have full flip throughs in my flip through playlist. So if you'd like to see them, that's where they are.
Next, I have a few items from Attack on Titan. So first I have the character encyclopedia. A couple of these are in English. So the Attack on Titan anime guidebook and the character encyclopedia are English releases. And then the rest of these I got from Japan. So if you have not watched or read Attack on Titan and you want to, maybe don't watch this part because there will be spoilers in some of these, some of these books. But this character, Encyclopedia, I'm really happy that it's in English, but it has all of these character profiles. Profiles for the Titans, interviews, just really nice little extras for fans of the series. Then the anime guidebook. I love the art style in the anime, so. Again, character profiles, but then in the anime style, interviews. Again, English, hooray. I'll just keep on flipping through. Section for the Titans, environments. Oh my gosh. Feeding the colossal Titan pizza. <laughs> yeah, just tons and tons of stuff in here. For these two books, I have gone through and looked at them a little bit here and there, but I haven't like sat down and read everything. So happy to have these and I do need to go through them more thoroughly. And then I have four anime art books. So these two are Wit Studio art books. So this one is for season three. And it just is a collection of different art from, I believe, some of the different animators, the different staff that worked on the on the anime, so just very cool. So it's not like in the quite in the style of the anime because it's just a little different, but I love it. This is the kind of fun stuff that I like. Get them. very cool. So the Wit Studio season three book and then this has a fun and wholesome beach trip illustration. And this one has a little bit of like the keyframe art but it has a lot of big anime style illustrations and then a few the like side by side illustrations illustration book. And I 
really love this one. It's in the style of the anime. Ugh, love it. And then like, <laughs> I'm delivering water jugs and at the company, at the convenience store in Yukata. On the runway and recording at the studio. <laughs> Very cool. But I'm glad I, when I was getting into Attack on Titan, I just got sucked in by the anime and then just was on a hunt for Attack on Titan things I could add to my collection. And then I also have the key animation book for the final season part one. And this is super thick. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a quick flip through of it, but has kind of the character designs. And it does have like some nice color illustrations in addition to the keyframe section, so. Very cool to see the detail. But this is a really thick book, and I know for season three, they had several key animation books. I think it was maybe five for season three. So cool. I think it was like five that were, you could collect the volumes of them together and Get the whole thing. I'm not sure if they did a key animation book for the final season part two, but this is the one that I have. So this is all for my art books and extras that are related to manga series. And then I have a few more that I'll just go through quickly that are to do with anime only and gaming. So the first one here is one that I just got recently. This one does have a manga series, but I didn't know what demographic it was, so I thought I'd just share it when I'm going through the anime ones, but this is Her Blue Sky, the TV anime guidebook. This is an anime I really like, so I wanted to have, have it in my collection in some way, so this is how I'm having a little place in my collection for Her Blue Sky is with this TV anime guidebook. And just the typical character pages and character map and interviews, so. Little sections of the anime, some of the character designs, environments, interviews. So really happy to have this one, Her Blue Sky. Next is a sports series that I really like, Free. Sports series about swimming. So for this series, I have three magazine issues from Spoon 2DI, issues 78, 85, and 86, mainly for the covers because I wanted to have them, Reen, Haru, 
and five of the main boys. And I wanted these covers, but then also these were released with the final movie, the final stroke, part one and part two. And so each of these magazines does have illustrations and interviews and just content from the series that I wanted to be able to have access to as well. So I haven't gone through and translated any of the interviews. I've only looked at the illustrations because I wanted to wait until I had watched the final two movies. So I recently did watch them. So now I'll know that it's safe to go through and read those interviews. But then these four books, two of them are illustration books. So illustration works one, illustration works two. And I do have a video with a flip through of these two books. So that's in my flip through playlist. And these are basically just illustrations from seasons one and two of the anime. And in the back, there are some little extra short stories So I do have a more thorough flip through video of these two, as well as these two. This is the season three Dive to the Future official design works and the Dive to the Future, which is also season three guidebook. So I'll just do a quickie flip through of these as well. Character pages, some sketches character designs, some of the content in the anime, interviews, and just, of course, I just had to have this because season three is my favorite content of the series. And then the design works is more of the kind of sketches. So I find this really cool. And then there are some just illustrations, color illustrations mixed in with them. Some of the environments. So I was happy to get this one as well. So if you are a fan of free and you wanna see these in more detail, I do have videos for them. Next, I have five art books. Ooh for the anime series A3. And these are actually each anniversary books. So the first anniversary book, the second, third, fourth, and fifth. The sixth anniversary book just released last month, I believe. So I am planning on getting it as well. But this is an anime series that I really love. It also has a mobile game. And I am planning on doing a flip through video. Maybe I'll do the first three in one video. And then once I get the sixth book, I'll do four, five, and six in one video, flipping through these ones more thoroughly. So I'll just do like a quickie flip through of the first one just to give you a taste. I feel like this video is gonna be really long, so I really apologize for that, but, but it's a series all about a theater company and different people that have different motivations for joining and it's just one of my comfort series. So after the character pages, just little illustrations. Some of it is content from the anime. Some of it is content from the mobile game. But it's pretty fun because we get to see the cast in different costumes and kind of in different genres and atmospheres, depending on the plays that they're doing. 
I love the art style. But I'm a big fan of A3, so I had to get these. And because the, the main cast is introduced in these character pages in the first book, the rest of the books just have a smaller section for the character pages in the front and then more content to do with their plays and just like, for example. Like all kinds of different things they could be doing in different situations because of plays that they're doing and their costumes. So I just really love these, these characters, but I am planning on doing a couple flip through videos to share these ones. So I'll just let you wait until I release those if you're interested in them, but I'll show the covers. So Flower is the first anniversary book. Then Sunshine. Drop is the third. Air is the fourth. Earth. And the sixth one is Bloom. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get a hold of that one soon. And hopefully I'll have those soon on my channel as well. So the last ones are these here, these gaming art books. So first I have Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So this is a game that my husband really likes and I really like watching him play it. I love the soundtrack for it. And got this art book for it. A lot of showing the outfits, character pages, little sketches of their designs. There are a lot of characters, so just kind of going through all these. Then some of the weapons and just things you encounter in the game, some of the environments. So very cool. I, even though this is mainly for my husband, I really like it as well. And then lastly, The Legend of Zelda. So there are two books for Breath of the Wild. So the complete official guide, expansion edition and creating a champion. And then kind of some reference books. So the art and artifacts encyclopedia and Hyrule Historia. So I'm not going to flip through all of these just because I'm getting to the end of this video and I feel like it's going to be really long, but I will link this one. I did kind of a flip through of these when I got them in the haul video of these. So I will link that video if you want to see a little glimpse of inside these books, but they're all hardcover. They're all really nice. And my husband is a huge fan of The Legend of Zelda. So just like with the last book, I definitely wanted to get all of these for him. But then I also enjoy them just as much as he does. So The Legend of Zelda. And then very, very last, I couldn't decide if I should include these in this video because they're not official releases with the series. But 
because they're little books and they're little extras, I want to at least share them. So for the series Jujutsu Kaisen, I do have two fanzines that I recently got. Tiger Cub, a Jujutsu Kaisen. AU fanzine by Lightning Strikes. So a little two volume. Fanzine, and they're just so adorable. So this basically is an alternate universe where everyone gets along for the most part and it's in a cute kind of chibi style. <sighs> they're all little animals, look at them. They're so precious. But it's really neat because it's like every three pages is a little mini chapter. And then mixed in with that are just little illustrations. But again, this is not like an official JJK <laughs> release. But I'm just going to go ahead and include it in this video because it's adorable. So volume one, volume two, and it's by Lightning Strikes and they have even more of their little stories on their Instagram that weren't included in these volumes. So I'm hoping that they'll do a third volume because I feel like anyone who likes JJK would also love to have some of this extra wholesome sweetness to heal themselves after <laughs> some of the tragic things in the Shibuya arc and the recent chapters. So if you're looking for some sweet, wholesome healing power, <laughs> this is it. But these are all of my little extra things that I have in my collection in addition to my actual manga and fan art prints, so just all of these art books, guidebooks, fan books, character books. So I just wanted to take a little bit of time and go through all of these since I kind of skipped past them when I did my collection video last month, so I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you maybe found something new or interesting that maybe you'll want to pick up. But again, as I mentioned through the video, I do have a flip through playlist where I have done thorough flip throughs of some of these, but feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions about any of these things. Do you have any of these things already that you just love? Or is there anything for any of these series that you think I missed that I might need? Make sure to let me know. Also, if you have any questions or anything, I also have an Instagram account, so you're always welcome to send me a DM over there and I'd be happy to answer any questions or talk about any of these series or extras. So big thank you if you stuck around to the end of this video. I hope it was interesting and maybe helpful, but these are all my extras and I'll see you again soon in another video. Thanks for watching.